If you're a job seeker at the moment, hopefully everything's going to plan and you've got a number of uh, opportunities starting to emerge. We're in mid-October and we really only have a solid four to six weeks before things really start to wind down in the market and it can get increasingly difficult to secure offers as we head into that December, January time frame when people typically start to wind down or take holidays. There's no doubt it's been a really challenging year and you know hopefully if you've been executing your job search correctly you've got enough activity going on and you're in enough job interviews. Even if your offer isn't officially on the table by the end of November, that's not the end of the world if you're in discussions, if you're in the recruitment cycle. The reality is most recruitment cycles take six, maybe seven job interviews these days, especially at a senior level. So it's quite normal to be sort of midway through your recruitment process about now and then have a number of interviews still lined up and maybe final you know, reference checks, uh, psychology type tests tests um, and the like to you know work towards the official you know ink on the paper the official job offer so there certainly are some challenges in the market Um, you need to have as much activity on the go you cannot put all the eggs in the one basket and you certainly can't assume that uh, an organization is going to you know even if things are sounding quite positive are going to officially offer you the job nothing is uh, set in stone till the very very final steps And of course, you really do have to keep playing the market. You need to keep your applications going out. You need to keep other job interviews going along well so that you can um, execute a job offer and head into 2025 with new employment. Um, There's no doubt it has been a really difficult year across the board and I'm really cautious on job moves at this time of year. If you don't have to move, my strong advice would be to stay put and, and get through Christmas, New Year and then you could come out in the start of 2025 in that first quarter and you may find that there's a surge of roles and opportunities that become available at that time so that could work really well and it could work to your advantage and what you could be doing at this time is getting your forward plans in place putting those uh, crystal clear uh, plans your personal branding getting your value proposition right getting all of that activity the foundational work um, underway so that you can hit the ground running as we head into 2025 but the reality is if you're in interview right now you've got a good chance of an offer being executed before Christmas companies will speed up in that little final stretch so that they can get all those offers executed before everyone goes on the break Um, and ideally you want to have as many things in play as possible so you've got that little bit of competitive tension around yourself and you can negotiate the very best possible offer Um, so best of luck Um, if you're in the final stages by all means have a chat with me if you need any assistance in regards to contract negotiation, interview preparation, final interviews, don't wing it. Uh, you cannot afford to just uh, you know fly by the seat of your pants with job interviews these days, especially in the final stages. It can be the slightest uh, you know hairline uh, decision that can be made, especially if it's a competitive recruitment process. So you must engage the right help and support as you go through that process. But best of luck to all the job seekers in the market, and hope. Hopefully you'll be uh, able to execute a good offer and head into 2025 knowing that you've got a new place of employment coming up.